Hello and welcome to another TLC Tutoring Company Accounting lesson. Um, in this lesson, we'll be going over activity-based costing. Keep in mind that we try to upload practice sheets as well as solutions to our website, which is included in the description below. So if you do need any additional materials, that is where they will be located. So for activity-based costing, it's actually very similar to when you learned about the predetermined overhead rate. Um, in this case, we have XYZ Manufacturing Company who is producing t-shirts and sweaters. Um, they have three production processes, cutting, sewing, and inspection. And they have estimated overhead of $100,000 for cutting, $120,000 for sewing, and $60,000 for inspection. Now, in addition to all of that information, we do have an allocation base of number of direct labor hours for cutting and sewing, and number of inspections for the inspection department. Now, any additional information is included in this table here. So you'll see that cutting, we have some information regarding the direct labor hours there, sewing, some additional information, and then the inspections. And keep in mind this bottom one that we see here, this is, this is our total column. So they're telling us the totals that we have available in each one. All right, so now we need to find out exactly how much the overhead cost is for t-shirts and sweaters individually. Now, in order to do that, we are going to have to kind of evaluate each um, department individually first and then tie it back to t-shirts and sweaters. So our first step is going to be to find an activity rate for each department. So in order to find the activity rate, we are going to take the estimated co overhead cost and we are going to divide that by the estimated allocation base. So for the cutting department, our estimated cost was $100,000. For sewing, it was $120,000. And for inspections, it was $60,000. Keep in mind the units is in a department. It's telling us how many units of each one we actually produced. Now the estimated allocation base does change depending on what we're looking at. So for cutting, our allocation base was 2,000 direct labor hours. For sewing, it was 1,500 direct labor hours. And then for inspections, it was 500 inspections. Now that we have this information, we simply need to divide each one and that is going to give us the activity rate that we need to continue on to the next step. So for the cutting department, our activity rate is 100,000 divided by 2,000, $50 per direct labor hour. For the sewing department, 120,000 divided by 15,000, $80 for every direct labor hour. And then for inspections, $120 for inspection. So now that we have that information, now we can take that and we can tie it back to the different types of units we have. So if T-shirts uses 800 direct labor hours, then they're gonna get 50 times 800 allocated to their area. So let's go ahead and start a little chart down here. So we have t-shirts and sweaters. So for cutting, it's $50 per direct labor hour, and they used 800 direct labor hours in cutting. So we're gonna allocate $40,000 to them. Now for sweaters, similar, $50 per direct labor hour, and they used 1,200 direct labor hours, so we're allocating 60,000 to them. Now, just to kind of tie everything together, notice 40,000 plus 60,000, there's that 100,000 in estimated cost. So all we're doing is we're allocating that $100,000 to the two different types of units that we produce in this company. All right, let's do the same thing with sewing. $80 times 700 direct labor hours. So 56,000 is going to be allocated to sewing. I'm just going to do inspection for t-shirts here since I have the formula ready. $120 per inspection times 200 inspections for t-shirts. We're allocating $24,000 to the t-shirts. Now let's go ahead and do our sweaters. 
$80 per direct labor hour, and they use 800 direct labor hours. And for inspections, $120, $120 per inspection and 300 inspections. And again, if we go ahead and add these up, you'll notice that they equal out to the estimated cost that we had for each department. Now keep in mind that the question is asking for the overhead cost per unit. So if you kind of think about what our next step would be, the next thing that we have to do is to find our total for each one. So the total overhead that's allocated to t-shirts is $120,000 and to sweaters, $160,000. Now, now that we have our total overhead cost, we need to go ahead and find the cost per unit. And the unit information was provided in the additional estimates above. So we have 15,000 t-shirts, 5,000 sweaters. So now if we take our cost and divide it by the number of units that we're doing for each one, then we will get our estimated overhead cost per unit. There we go. So the answer to our problem here, once we go ahead and we find our activity rates, we allocate our overhead, and then we divide our total overhead by the number of units of each one, we find that our t-shirts are allocated $8 per t-shirt of overhead, and our sweaters, very expensive sweaters it looks like, are going to get allocated $32 of overhead per sweater. And that's activity-based costing, so it's not very different from the predetermined overhead rate that you learned before and when you were applying overhead. It's very similar. The only difference here is we break it out into different activities. All right. So keep taking a look at that activity-based costing method. You will see it labeled as ABC every once in a while. Um, if you have anything to contribute to the conversation, please be sure to leave it in the comments below. And please be sure to subscribe because we do try to come up with new videos that will help you as you go through your academic accounting journey. All right. But in the meantime, happy studying. Thank you so much for watching.